forgive me. I'm begging you. Shut your lousy hole. Take this and this. <laughs> Goldo, I think he's had enough. Stop it, Zenk. I need to blow off some steam. We can't find that damn tiara chick anywhere. And no, we got intruders here. Everyone's conspiring to make me look like a fool. I might end up in the ranch myself if I'm not careful. Maybe, but if you do too much damage, you'll end up k killing them. Dumbass. That's even better. If he dies suffering, the vile god will be freaking ecstatic. I'm very sorry. Once Goldikins gets like this, it takes him a while to come back down. <laughs> I've never actually seen this place for myself. It's more horrible than I'd ever imagined. Apollonius? What the hell are you doing here? So, we've reached the heart of the human ranch. We're going to destroy this place and put an end to this travesty forever. Yeah. You mean, you guys are the intruders? Oh, this is bad. Real freaking bad! That stuck-up brick is bad enough, but he's got Ethel and Apollonius here with him! Hey, Zank! Get off your lazy ass and get him! What? But I... Listen, would ya? I need you to buy us some time while I go call for help! Get a goddamn grip on yourself! Please do your best, okay? Wait... Wait... Huh? G Goldo? Data comparison confirms that this is without question the same person with whom we have previous combat experience. However... Just like everyone else, his personality is totally different from before. But he still seems just as complicit in Dorf's activities as ever. So we have no reason to hold back. <laughs> Zank! Do your best! If you don't fight, you die! Okay, you're right. I just g gotta fight. Fair eyes! Waste no time! I'll do my best. Please stop! Brace yourself. Please stop! Here I come! Please stop! Here I come! Please stop! You feel my power, sir? Please stop! Now! Please stop! I'll do my best. Here I come! Please stop! Brace yourself! Let me show you the true strength of a warrior! Here I come! Please stop! Here I come! Ah! Huh? I, I have to do this. How inept. Let's finish this. I'll do my best. Please stop! Please stop! Here I come! Marcus, disappear! I've got to do this. I've got to do this. Brace yourself. Here I come. Next. Ready. You will never claim my soul. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. That's some serious groveling. Indeed, it's the perfect grovel by which all of the groveling is measured. He's like the one true king of groveling. I just don't want to die. I really, truly don't. Please, spare me. Please! This is ridiculous. His life isn't worth taking. I agree. Disappear into whatever hole you desire. But if you stand in our way again, we will not show such mercy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Della, let's get out of here. Okay. 
Lord Sherman! I freed everyone they had locked up in their cells. But Bang wasn't there. I see. We were able to right one of Dorfa's many wrongs, so it wasn't a total loss. But still, all of our failed attempts to find him are becoming worrisome. Bang might not even be alive anymore. Oh, I don't think we have to worry about that. Remember? If something happened to him, I wouldn't exist anymore. Either way, let's head back to town for now. Maybe Lola has some new information for us. Oh, hi there! Sorry, I still haven't heard anything about your dark-clothed fencer. I see. But I do have something else you're gonna love! It's a rice cooker perfect for making sticky rice. And, um, that's the only kind it makes. What kind of rice cooker only makes sticky rice? We don't need a rice cooker. But I'd be willing to buy whatever information you might have for the same price. Wow, how generous of you! Thank you for your patronage! So, what do you got for us? Well, apparently, the president of Dorfa is planning to throw a party! And when you think fencers, you think Dorfa, right? If you show up at that party, you might find all kinds of useful info. Interesting. But even if we did want to go, they would recognize Apollonius and Ethel right away. Well, that's true for you too, isn't it? You fought a bunch of Dorfa members yourself. I'd still have better luck than them, I imagine. I think we should try disguising ourselves and infiltrating the party that way. Welcome, one and all! Thank you for joining us at our latest Dorfa Corporation product unveiling party. I am Pyga Pyron, your host for the evening. I'm very pleased to see you all. Aaron, please try not to wolf down everything you can get your hands on. You're drawing attention to yourself. We're trying to blend in. It's a buffet, right? If we want to blend in, shouldn't we be eating? Well, yes, but you'll notice that nobody has nearly as much food on their plate as you do. Frankly, I'm amazed you were able to fit that much food on one plate. It's like a grandmaster puzzle of food. <laughs> it takes skill, that's for sure. <sighs> this sushi is amazing! The sticky rice is just to die for! Later, we will reveal Shari Jiro, a specialized sticky rice cooker. This new product comes direct from the mind of our new company president. They seem to be presenting a wholesome company facade to the public. I imagine these guests are all connected to Dorfa's sponsors. <clears throat> now then, the moment you've all been waiting for. Allow me to introduce the Dorfa Corporation's new president and product development genius. Sir Fang! What? Lord Sherman? He just said Fang! <laughs> What's happening? Don't worry, it's just regular smoke. But that voice just now... Could it really be? Hey! Now I can't see anything! Jeez! What the heck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone! When you think of me, you think President! And when you think President, you think of me! Is that really Fang? The voice sounds right, but... Unfortunately, I can't make out his figure, so I can't be certain. Hey, what's with the cold reception? Haiga, what the hell's going on? Uh, I'm terribly sorry. It would seem Vivian messed up the amount of smoke. The guests can't see your wonderful visage. Ah, I see. I guess that explains why I can't see them either. I'll get rid of the smoke right away. Please, wait just one moment. The whole point was to get everyone hyped up. God, he's so useless. There's a 99% pay cut waiting for him in his next evaluation. Can that really be Fang? I mean, it could just be someone else with the same name. Quiet. The smoke is starting to clear. 
Oh, I knew the Shari Jiro was the real deal. Oh, the sticky rice is exactly the way I like it. Uh, damn it. I thought I still had some more time. I couldn't stop myself from going for the food. Bang! Bang! It really is you! Huh? Who are you? Autographs will have to wait till later. I'm kind of busy right now. Huh? Oh, I get it. You want my food, don't you? Well, you can't have it. There's a perfectly good buffet right over there. Bang! What's wrong? Don't you recognize me? I apologize for the delay, Mr. President. Now, please, if you would. Right. Welcome, everyone. I am the new president of the all-powerful Dorma. Bang the president! Respect me. Revere me. Bow down to me. Say, thank you, President Bang, ten times before bed every night. You got that? Uh, Mr. President, you have some rice stuck to your face. Your dignified speech is going to waste. All right, then let me start over. Hmm. Welcome, everyone. I am the new president of... Aaron, let's get going. Huh? But Bang! I mean, that's definitely him. I can tell. If you say it's him, I believe you. But it's clear he didn't recognize you. That's just... Which means, just like those others, it's very likely he's no longer the Fang we once knew. We'll have to confirm it later, but this place is crawling with Dorfa members. If we're not careful, they may find us out. We need to find a way to get him alone and make contact then. Okay, I understand. Fang hasn't shown any sign of appearing. Yeah, I really hope we get a chance to talk to him. Hey, Lord Sherman! Over there! That's... Damn it! Hurry up and show your ugly mug, President Asshole! I'm getting hungry out here! Tiara? What are you doing here? <gasps> Idiot! Don't sneak up on people like that! It looks like you're waiting in ambush. What exactly are you planning? You don't have to be so cautious. We don't work for Dorfa. Quite the opposite, in fact. We're trying to take them down. Really? If I were lying, why would I be talking to you? I would have just attacked you right away, am I wrong? I guess not. Fine, I guess I can tell you. I'm here to kill that jackass president. President? You mean Fang? Yeah! Dorfa just keeps coming after me! I figure I can put an end to that if I kill their stupid president. Then why don't we work together? We have our own reasons for wanting to destroy Dorfa, and we could use all the help we can get. No thanks! I hate working in groups. I can take care of the president just fine by myself. I see. That's a shame. By the way, you seem to have taken on the role of a wandering thief. Are you hurting for money? If you were to go with us, we would at least pay for your meals, so... Okay, sure! Let's team up! That was a very... Fang-like reaction. It's best if she doesn't know we have any connection to Fang for now. If she's going after Fang, we can't have her off doing things on her own. Better to keep her near us where we can keep an eye on her. Knock off your mumbling, you two! The President finally came out! Oh, apologies. We should make contact then. Stop right there! Ugh. There is no escape this time, thief! You're coming with us, like it or not! P pippin mm -hmm. Who are you? I don't believe I'm acquainted with you. Soji! Have I ever met this woman before? No, Pippin. This is your first meeting. You must be working with Chiara! Very well, I'll exterminate you all together! Wait, what's going on? Why is Pippin... Oh, he's some loser bounty hunter that won't stop chasing me around! Damn it! You're gonna have to help me out here! This is an unexpected turn of events. We have no choice. 
If we don't hurry, we'll lose Fang. <laughs> like moths to a flame. I bring divine punishment to any thief who would disturb the peace of this world. Soji, fair eyes! Beat you down. My turn. Let us be clear. Who am I fighting? Get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! Here we go! Are you serious? Curses! This is no game! Let us be clear. Now! I'll do my best. Executing shooting star. Here I go! You can't escape! Chew on this! What Play it once! Execution number three! Away with you! It's over! Yeah. Prepare yourself, Seguro! Here I come! Yeah. I'll do my best. The warrior of justice has fallen. Different enemy, same enemy. Hmm, not bad. But my sword of justice does not break. Now, witness my true power! Wait! I've got it all wrong! I haven't done anything! <laughs> Don't speak to me as if we were friends, you dirty thief! It's no use. There's no way we can convince him right now. Sherman, that thing guy left. We wasted too much time. We need to retreat for now. Tiara, come with us. Sure thing! How dare you turn your back on your opponent! Disgraceful! Soji, after them! Please don't push yourself too hard. You've taken quite a beating. Aging is never kind. In the past, I could tear through thief after thief, with time enough to leave my signature drawing on their faces. I was quite powerful back then. I remember relieving a group of brigands of their belongings, then I washed and ironed their clothes. For now, allow me to brew us some tea. Then I will begin tending to your wounds. Uh -huh. So that pretty boy Fencer and Tiara are working together. I'd better go report this. So, rather than taking action, you decided to do nothing and run back here instead? Does your uselessness know no bounds? Useless, incompetent, useless, incompetent! If it had just been Tiara, maybe I could have done something. But I just don't stand a chance against that arrogant fencer bastard. If I'm so useless, why not give me some more useful talent to take with me? Good point. I can no longer expect results from your actions alone. I shall give you a single assistant. You wanted to see me, Deputy President? Who's this chick? Ah, so you're the helpless Galdo I've been hearing about. I'm Harley from Research and Development. This is my fairy partner, Bahas. Nice to meet you. Indeed. Well met, kid. Take her with you and capture Tiara. And destroy anyone who gets in your way. I don't care who it is. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you can rest easy now that I'm here. That was a much unexpected hurdle. Yeah. I never imagined we'd have to go up against Pippin. What was that odd creature? And why did the master fair eyes rather than the fairy? Simply absurd. Oh, it's an easy mistake to make. But actually, Pippin's the fencer and Soji's the fairy. What? Who freaking cares? All that matters is what the hell are we gonna do now? We gotta hurry up and waste the president. I can't even get a good night's sleep these days. <laughs> Indeed. We need to find some way to meet him face to face. Ah! There you 
you are. Oh, Lola. What is it? I found out where that fencer is that you were looking for. I heard this is where you were staying, so I figured I'd come find you. I see. That's very nice of you. Did you also happen to find out this fencer's name? Well, surprise, surprise! He's Dorfa's president! He goes by the name Fang. Splendid work, Lola. Now can you tell us where we might find him? <laughs> Thank you for your patronage! <laughs>